Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two semicircles, the green one uh, and the yellow one, fully inscribed uh, in a big uh, semicircle with a center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the center of this uh, green semicircle is uh, Q, and its area has been given to us as 18 times pi centimeter square whereas uh, the center of this uh, yellow semicircle is uh, p and the area of this uh, yellow semicircle is 8 pi centimeter square and both of uh, these uh, semicircles are tangent to each other at this point uh, d and finally the diameter of this uh, big uh, semicircle is uh, a b and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, big uh, semicircle Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, green semicircle whose uh, area has been given to us as uh, 18 pi. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi times uh, r square where r is the radius. And since we are dealing with these uh, semicircles, so therefore uh, the semicircle area is going to be this uh, area which is uh, pi times uh, r square divided by 2. So therefore I can write down uh, pi r square divided by 2 equals to 18 times uh, pi. And here we can see this pi and pi cancels out. And now I'm going to remove this fraction by multiplying it 2 on uh, both sides of these equations. So therefore this 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore r square turns out to be equal to 36. I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our radius uh, for this uh, green semicircle turns out to be 6 uh, centimeter. So therefore uh, this uh, radius of uh, green semicircle is going to be 6 cm as I wrote it down uh, radius of uh, lowercase g equal to 6. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow semicircle whose area has been given to us as uh, 8 pi. And we know the semicircle area is uh, pi r squared divided by 2. So therefore I am going to equate them pi r square divided by 2 equals to 8 times pi. And now we can see this pi and pi cancels out. So therefore our r square value is going to be equal to 8 times 2 is going to give us 16. Let me undo this square by taking square root on both sides. So therefore the radius of this yellow semicircle is going to be 4 centimeter. So therefore the radius uh, of this uh, yellow semicircle is going to be 4 centimeter. As you can see over here radius of this uh, y is going to be 4. And here's our next step. I am going to connect uh, these uh, centers uh, P and Q. As you can see in this uh, next step and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. The centers uh, and the point of uh, tangency are collinear. So therefore we can see all these points. Uh, point P, this point of tangency and this point Q are uh, collinear. In other words, uh, all these points uh, lie on the very same line. And in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this uh, center Q with this uh, point of tangency C. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degrees uh, since this uh, CQ is the radius uh, and this line uh, is the tangent line. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, CQ is the radius of this uh, green semicircle. So this is going to be 6. And likewise this uh, DQ is the radius uh, as well. So this is going to be 6 as well. And likewise uh, this uh, PD is the radius of this uh, yellow semicircle. And this is uh, 4 uh, units. So therefore uh, this uh, total uh, length uh, PQ is going to be 
6 plus 4 is going to give us uh, 10 uh, centimeter. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, PCQ. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 10. Our one of the legs uh, is uh, 6 uh, and the other uh, leg uh, is uh, CP. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, CP square plus uh, 6 uh, square equals to 10 uh, square. Now I am going to subtract 36 from both sides. This is uh, gone. So therefore uh, CP square turns out to be equal to 64. Let me undo this square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our this uh, CP length uh, turns out to be 8 uh, centimeter. So therefore our uh, this uh, CP segment turns out to be 8 uh, centimeter as you can see over here. And here's our next step. I have dropped this uh, perpendicular EF uh, on this uh, line uh, AB. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, QC length uh, is same as this uh, EF length. If this is uh, 6, then this uh, EF length is going to be 6 centimeter as well. And moreover, this EQ is the radius of this uh, green semicircle. So this is uh, 6. And likewise, uh, this uh, FC length uh, has got to be 6 uh, centimeter as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this segment uh, PB is uh, 4 centimeter. This uh, CP segment is uh, 8. And this uh, FC segment uh, is uh, 6. So now therefore our task is uh, to calculate this uh, tiny segment uh, AF. And here's our next step. I am going to connect uh, this point uh, E with this point uh, B as you can see in this uh, next step. And in this uh, next step, I have connected this point uh, E with this uh, point A as well. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if A, B and E are the distinct uh, point on the circle where the line uh, A, B is the diameter, then the angle A, E, B is going to be right angle. That means it is going to be 90 degree angle. As you can see in this our given uh, diagram, A, B and E are the points uh, on this uh, semicircle. And moreover, uh, A, B is the diameter of this uh, big uh, semicircle. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, angle uh, A, E, B is going to be 90 degrees. And now let's assume alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these uh, two angles must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this uh, tiny angle is uh, alpha. We know this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this uh, angle has got to be our angle beta. And since this uh, whole angle is 90 degrees and this angle is beta, so therefore this uh, angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha. And finally, if this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore we conclude that these uh, two right triangles, uh, triangle uh, EFB and this uh, other right triangle uh, EFA are our similar triangles according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words, the ratio of uh, AF and EF is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, EF and BF. And now we can see our this uh, EF length uh, is uh, 6 uh, units. So therefore, I'm going to replace this EF by 6 and likewise this EF uh, is going to be 6 as well. And finally, of this uh, BF length uh, is going to be this uh, whole uh, length, this uh, sum of these uh, 4, 8 and 6, if we add them, that is going to give us uh, 18 centimeter. So therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, BF length by 18 over here. 
So therefore, we can write uh, AF divided by 6 is going to be equal to 6 divided by 18. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by 6 to isolate uh, this AF length. So therefore, we can see this 6 and 6 is gone. So AF length uh, turns out to be 6 times 6 is going to give us 36 divided by 18 is going to give us uh, 2 centimeter. So therefore, our this uh, tiny segment length uh, AF turns out to be 2 centimeter as you can see over here. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, AB length is going to be the sum of these individual lengths uh, 2 plus 6 uh, plus uh, 8 uh, plus uh, 10. If we add all of them, that is going to give us uh, 20 centimeter. So therefore, we conclude that our this whole AB length uh, turns out to be 20. And since uh, this uh, AB length uh, represents the diameter of this uh, big uh, semicircle, so therefore diameter turns out to be 20 centimeter. So therefore we conclude that the radius uh, of this uh, big semicircle I'm going to label as uh, uppercase R is going to be equal to 10 uh, centimeter. Here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, big uh, semicircle whose radius uh, is uh, 10 and now let's recall once again the area of circle formula area equal to pi r square where r is the radius uh, of this big semicircle so therefore the area of this uh, big semicircle is going to be pi r square divided by 2 so therefore we are going to calculate the area of this big uh, semicircle so this is going to be pi divided by 2 times uh, 10 whole uh, square and uh, if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 50 times pi centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, big semicircle turns out to be 50 times pi centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye